This week, we're talking about six laws in Arizona that you absolutely need to be aware of. And the big question is, are you in danger of breaking them? Well, stick around because when I come back, I'm going to break it all down for you and you're not going to want to miss out on number six. Hi and welcome back. My name is John Farron and I'm a realtor with Home Smart Lifestyles right here in Queen Creek, Arizona. And on this channel, we talk about all things real estate as it pertains to Queen Creek and the surrounding area. You know, laws change and evolve as society changes over time, but sometimes those laws remain on the books, even here in Arizona. So I want to take a look today at some of the most unusual laws that are still on the books on the state, county, and city level. So starting off the list at number one has to do with saguaro cactuses. Did you know that it's illegal in Arizona to uproot or move a saguaro cactus? You know, some of Arizona's most iconic plants are the cacti, that pepper our desert landscape here and we just take great pride in our cacti population and in particular the saguaro cactus actually requires extra protection because some people like to use them for target practice and it's also pretty common to go out into the desert and just uproot them and take them and plant them in your own yard at home and yes i did say people use them for target practice you know, the saguaro cactus can only be found here in the Sonoran Desert, which makes it pretty unique and pretty original to this area. And some of these cactuses can be as old as 200 years old. So if you violate this law, you could be facing four years in prison. You know, there's a myth that goes around out there that says you can get up to 25 years in prison, but that's not true. The taking or removal of a cactus is really, it's really constituted as a theft and it's a class four felony and you could get up to four years in prison for that. And yes, the mighty saguaro cactus is considered an Arizona state treasure, so don't mess with our cacti. Number two on the list has to do with flags. Just leave the flags alone. According to Arizona law 13-3703, it is a class two misdemeanor to place a mark picture or words on a flag that could incite physical retaliation. You cannot draw any figure, picture, design, word, or advertisement on a flag that could be in public view. And in addition to mutilating, defacing, or any other dishonorable act to a flag, that could result in a very serious charge. Number three, don't ever consider making imitation cocaine. Cocaine is a white powdery substance that many people can confuse for sugar, flour, or even laundry detergent. However, creating imitation cocaine is a class six felony here in Arizona. Now, if you intend to manufacture, distribute, or possess imitation cocaine, or really any other controlled substance, then you could be facing some serious charges. And in addition, the law specifically states that you can't defend yourself by claiming that you thought the cocaine was real. So think about that for a second. You're making fake cocaine, which is illegal, but you believe that it's real, so that makes that law moot, but real cocaine's illegal too. Number four on the list is the one I refer to as clean your plate. It is illegal to take a game bird, game mammal, or game fish and knowingly permit an edible portion to go to waste. So as my dad used to tell all of the grandkids at the family dinners, take what you want, but eat what you take. So in this case, I guess if you're out hunting and you don't finish your meal, you could be in violation of this statute. Number five on our list, did you know that it's illegal to feed garbage to a pig? Why on earth would anybody feed garbage to a random pig? But apparently it has happened because we have a law. However, the laws in Arizona do allow you to feed your household waste to pigs that you actually raise and own yourself. Now, I've got some friends who actually have two potbelly pigs as pets pretty sure those guys eat way better than just the household garbage. 
And last on our list at number six is what we call the stupid motorist law. You know, in Arizona, we have a lot of dry riverbeds and dry washes, but when it rains hard and for a prolonged period, those washes and riverbeds fill with water and they start to flow. When they're flowing, they cross streets and they flood out the streets. And because of that flooding, many of these streets, especially in the outer, more uh, rural areas where there's dips in the roadways, those streets need to be closed. You know, actually driving in a flood zone really is a very dangerous thing. It doesn't take an awful lot to get stuck in the, in the water and then that rushing water actually can wash your car and yourself away and carry you off downstream. It, it's very dangerous. But there's always that one guy, no, I take that back, there's a lot of them, that think they can drive around the barricades and it's not gonna happen to them. They can get through that flooded area to the other side and continue on their way. Well, guess what? They end up getting stuck in the flood and then they have to be rescued by helicopter. So now we have the stupid motorist law, which is simply this. If you drive on a flooded road that is clearly closed and barricaded off by officials and you get stuck, then you'd better be ready to pay for your own rescue. So in other words, when you go around these barricades and you end up getting stuck and needing to be rescued, you're gonna be billed for the expenses that were incurred by the police and fire departments. And guess what? Those helicopters, they're not cheap, and you're gonna have to foot the entire bill. Yep, in Arizona, we believe in paying for your own stupidity. And now that you've made it to the six with me, I'm gonna throw in a bonus one. Did you know Arizona has an official necktie? In fact, Arizona is probably the only state that has passed a law designating an official neckwear. Any ideas what it might be? Back in 1971, the state legislature passed a law designating the bola tie as our official state neckwear. Now you see people wearing these things all the time. My dad had a bunch of them. He loved his bola ties. Now, if you think that you can live within these parameters and be a law-abiding citizen and you're considering a move to Arizona, or maybe you're already here and you're thinking about buying or selling a home, and you think that you and I might be a good fit in working together, then I invite you to call, text, email me, I don't know, send a singing telegram. However it is that you choose to communicate because when it comes to buying and selling homes in the Southeast Valley, I've got your back. And every one of those methods of communication is legal. Now, you should probably check out some of the other videos on the channel as well. Feel free to surf around, see what jumps out at you. While you're there, remember to hit the subscribe button, click on the bell so you'll be notified every time a new video gets uploaded. And while you're at it, you may as well follow me on social media right here. Now, while you're busy doing all of that, I'm gonna be right here looking forward to seeing you in the next video.